People's Bank of China has announced it will join with central banks from the UAE, Hong Kong and Thailand to explore the possibilities of a cross-border digital payment system. The project, named MCBDC Bridge, aims to explore new technologies to make cross-border payments faster, cheaper and more secure. Well, earlier I spoke to Rich Turin, an independent fintech and AI consultant and author of Cashless China's Digital Currency Revolution. I asked him why this project is important. The big deal is that this transaction has the potential someday to make the, uh, the currency transfer between one country and the other free and immediate, reducing the cost of business for all of these countries. So it's a great project, not live yet. Remember, this is just a test, a, a trial. But if it works and uh, if all of these countries learn how to make digital currency flow from one country to the other, it's a big deal. Central banks and digital currencies, it's, it's something that's been gaining traction all around the world. What is the draw, would you say, compared to conventional currencies? Digital currency allows for immediate and I want, don't want to say free, but how about low cost or near free transfer of currency from me to you or from country A to country B um, automatically? And that's the draw. Um, it basically takes um, a very complicated banking process that we've used for 50 plus years, digitizes it, puts it on a new network, and it allows it to be immediate and free. I heard complicated, I heard banking, I heard um, confusing in all of that. On the other side of the world, where we're not um, using um, cashless, contactless payment as freely, what would you say might be the challenges to, to ordinary people out there? For ordinary people or for businesses, who it's going to be business who will use this first in foreign countries. These systems are exceedingly simple. Um, you know, they're based essentially on the model that WeChat and Alipay invented. Um, we use QR codes to swipe and to uh, transfer money back and forth. They're dead simple. Um, so what's going to happen is that you'll be a business in Dubai and you want to buy something from a supplier in China. And you'll simply be able to go to your computer or even some cases for smaller businesses, your cell phone, swipe a QR code, make the payment, and within minutes, the payment will be made to the Chinese supplier and they can begin the, 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 uh, the process of shipping. So it's going to simplify doing business between all of these countries. So how far ahead is China in this space? And what will that mean ultimately for the RMB? China is really somewhere between five and ten years ahead of the rest of the world uh, in this. And it's important for people to understand that to build a central bank digital currency is much more complicated than, say, building a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. So um, the lead is important for China because they are the first major economy to be testing and so far along in the development of a digital currency. And what this really means is that China will be able to start using the digital RMB for global trade. And that's a very important consideration because it will assist China internationalizing the RMB, basically pushing the RMB out to markets where it trades. And instead of using dollars, people will now or traders will now be able to use RMB conveniently inexpensively um, and all digitally.